Hello, my name is Peter McAllister and I'm here at Kilbride Castle in Perthshire to tell you about the Campbell Cantrach. The Campbell Cantrach is written music for the Highland Bagpipe and it was written in the end of the 1700s by a man called Colin Campbell in the far west of Scotland. Until Colin Campbell began writing down music, pipers did not actually write music at all. Instead, one teacher would sing to his pupil. In the early 1800s, the Highland Society of London decided to set competitions for the writing of music. Various people came forward with music written on the stave as we would understand it. Five lines and a treble clef. One man came forward with an entirely different type of music. It was words written down. And these words were the, the words that a, a teacher would sing to his pupil. Colin Campbell wrote the Campbell Cantrach at the end of the 1700s, and there was two volumes of music. Each contains 86 tunes. We think there is a third volume out there, and it is for this reason that this video is being made. If you look at the People's Society website, you'll see various bits of information about the third volume of the Campbell Cantrach, what we think it is and where we think it might be. We also know roughly what it would look like. Today, I've come to this castle because the owners are relatives of the Campbells of Bredalban, who were the employers of Colin Campbell way back in the 1700s. I'd like to thank James and Carola Campbell for permission to use Kilbride Castle and its grounds for this recording. Incidentally, the castle and its grounds are available for weddings and other functions, and Kilbride Castle has its own website. So in a minute I'm going to play a tune from the second volume of the Campbell Cantrach to explain what the type of music is. You'll see that it's not marches or strespes or reels that Colin Campbell was writing, but Pibruch, a classical music, music of the Highland Bagpipe. It's a slow music with a theme at the beginning and then very gradually variations start, becoming more and more difficult to play, until at the end a short bit of the theme is played again. I hope you enjoy the music. If you're interested in helping with the search for the Campbell Cantra, please check the People's Society website, where we have a lot of information about that. Thank you for listening.